it's another dull Friday, but at least it's not rain today. Um, subject of today, Airfix MRRC motor racing test track. I've done a very a basic one, um, Pascal trick, which is just called a straight. Um, just allows you to power the motors up, really. Uh, nothing else, obviously, uh, until they, how the cars sit. So I thought, <coughs> um, with that, yes, you can run Airfix cars on a scatter chip track, um, but early two pin guides, not so well. Um, they don't really like it. You can start playing around with the flipping brides. They will run, but it's a bit hit and miss. And then when you go to put them back on your Airfix track, then you start having to piff and piffle about again. So, <clears throat> and I've got quite a lot of, I've got a like the Airfix stuff, um, nostalgia, some of the range of the cars they did, um, things like that. And I'd yearn for some of these Airfix cars when I was a kid, but no internet then. Uh, didn't go to toy fairs as a kid. You've ever, I just didn't see them. I, I think I managed to get a Mark 1 Cortina and a Mini, brand new because they made them for years um, that was about it really so the red mini you've seen on other uh, videos um, <clears throat> and kind of talking about this really I'd been out up locally a marketplace recently and for five pound I bought uh, an airfix set a lot of the track was terrible rusted Pretty unusable, but some bits usable. And the controllers, um, which are these, work. Got the earlier little three pin attachment on the terminal track, but I can live with that for a test track. On the other one upstairs in the loft, I've got the, the lighter, thicker pins. Um, <clears throat> so that's the mini. Um, I bought that track the other day, um, five quid. It actually came with a, a, a 60s uh, Skytrick pit. That, that alone was worth more than that. Um, I want a bit of restoring, but it's, it's usable. And uh, I think the fourth edition Skytrick catalog was in it, in, in the box. And looking at the pieces, um, I think that it, this has been part of a permanent layout because <clears throat> where I put them little screws there to attach it to my, my board, um, they were already there. I think somebody had, had that. This is a permanent layout. Um, so all in all, for five quid, I only got I think a Cooper and, and another car. The other car, but it might be a Lotus. I think the set. I mean, it was a very early set because you got the cardboard inserts. I'm going to sound like a right anorak here, but very early if it's set rather than a plastic inlay to put your track and bits and bobs in. Had cardboard, so that dates it to, to early sixties, really. Um, when I first did them, but so for five quid, a couple of cars, both of them went actually, apart from the hard tyres. Um, very crude, the early, earlier Grand Prix cars, um, Airfix, no screens or anything on them, very, very crude. Um, and I've used a couple of pieces <coughs> out of it, cleaned them up, uh, no brass contacts, because what you got with these, they're connected by these plastic things, but in here, well, you can't see them, a, a brass contacts as well, and they crowd up on all sorts of, so we had a bit of a crude attempt to solder the two together, um, as in contacts, I had to bin those, <coughs> luckily I got a good supply of those, and a bit of metal at his spirits and cleaning, we got what we got, I've just mounted it to this board, so it can be folded away, um, <coughs> if I buy a car in, and every, <coughs> if it's car, excuse me, for copying, I can test it, you know, um, and uh, you know, a lot of them want a lot of fettling and, and, and messing about with. Now, <clears throat> this here, the green one, this is an, is an actual MG1100 um, motorised conversion kit. Like a lot of them, poor paint work. It's probably been built by a kid at the time. Um, got a broken back bumper with corner back up and a light lens missing. But apart from that, really, and I got it for a damn good price, I can go for, for stupid money is that so let's just see if I can grab the right controller look and show you the uh, oh it stopped uh, always when I'm showing somebody something something goes wrong so it stopped twice now and I believe it or not 
this has run <laughs> faultlessly when, when I wasn't trying to show anything, anybody anything. And now, of course, it's, it's, it's messing about, look. I had to dig up. But this was running absolutely... Let's just pause this a minute, two seconds. Something about every time I got to film something, uh, it goes wrong. But uh, you can see, really, you can see that it's, it's probably not been run for donkey's years, this, this little MJ. I got some methylated spirits on the braids. The tyres were typically really hard on the back, but I got some sandpaper. What I do is put some sandpaper on, up, at the back to scuff the tyres up so it's cut out again. Um, and that, that's been sufficient to get it actually running. Um, the one in the centre there is, uh, I don't know if you call them Club and Specials, it was a BRM. Um, that's got uh, a more sophisticated chassis. That, 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 that the, the aim at the time. They, 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 they come in a kit, a bit like the, uh, the MG, but more expensive. Um, that was still available when I was a kid. I bought an Aston Martin. Um, that very shortly after. <laughs> Funny things you do as a kid. Got rid of the body and I put a, a Mark III Zodiac um, on top of it to, to make it into a slot car. Uh, I'll probably do the opposite now, my boy. But um, yeah, just to show this uh, BRM, I think it's a beautiful model, the BRM look. Um, let me show the chassis what I mean. Um, it's much more sophisticated. Um, it's much more sophisticated, much more powerful motor. Um, I did have to pay a decent price for this, but it, it's it's pretty minty, you know. And uh, it reminds me this era of BIM, uh, BRM <coughs> of um, the film Grand Prix. I think it's, that's the one's in the film. I'll have to check on the film actually. I've never said that, but. That's today, a um, little test track. Um, quite chuffed with that. I'm gonna have to really put the, the, the ethics track in the loft and aboard as well because they get dust off the carpet fluff that gets into your cars. Plus, really thinking about this kind of idea, am I about to extend on it? Um, because you could have tracks on boards and still on the way, taking a very little of space, couldn't you? You know, um, you know, a permanent track laid down takes up a lot of space all the time. Whereas one of these, you can lift, lift, lift it up and fold against the wall, can't you? Um, so, so that's that. Um, I'm watching some more of these MGs on on uh, eBay at the moment. Um, one's in a bit of a state of red, brush painted. The other um, one is, is a, a good shell, like top part, and uh, I think the remains of, of another one that's got some damage to it. I'm also watching a, a sunbeam rapier. Um, so I want to try and get a good set of these in, in, in good condition. And so I will do a video about, the, about a bit more about these uh, airfix cars at some point. So there's me wafting on. Um, I hope I haven't bored you too much. Um, it's my birthday today, so I'm gonna have uh, get cleaned up in a minute and uh, get out for some with a meal with some friends. Um, thankfully, I'm starting to feel a bit better as well. So I'll leave you with that look. Um, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, might get a car a car show on Sunday. I'm not sure yet. See how things pan out. And. Um, Hopefully to get on with some of the other builds I'm doing as well. Because I've seemed to have stagnated that. I've got so far after that transporter I've built. To nearly getting things done. And, and not quite finishing. Uh, I did some more of the stock cars the other day. Um, which brings me to another thing really. I've got um, the Scalatrix stock car. As an F1 stock car set. Not in better condition but I've got it. I've also got the, uh, the mini banger minis set in a box. Now I do fancy... Talking about as talking about um, this kind of setup, where you could fold something against a you know a wall of, of putting that banger track on um, a board. You know, I could take it out in the, in the summer and have mates around for beers. I mean, cause chaos. But I do fancy building like a stock car banger track. Um, I've got an Austin A60 to build. 
Um, depending on that comes out, I could get another one of those. Um, I've got that Anglia stock, stock car, hot stock car, and the Mini. Um, I quite fancy that. So, anyway, lots of waffling. I'm going to leave you with that look. Um, and well, <coughs> we'll say goodbye today. Um, I sound quite chuffy that look. It's actually behaving itself a bit more now. Oh, and I've crashed, look. Uh, but anyway, have a good weekend, whatever you're doing. Hope to catch up with you all later. And uh, thank you again for listening, as, as always, to my uh, going on a bit. Thanks.